So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Today is um, April the 18th, 2021, and this is Channeling Kriya. And, and as before, let's start with doing a brief meditation before we go into the channeling part. So let's all start to gather our thoughts and just tune inwards. Start to take a deep breath in and let it all out. Take another deep breath in and use your breath to assist you to move inwards, turn inwards to yourself and use your breath to assist you in getting more relaxed, getting your body relaxed. Every time you breathe out, let go some more of the tension in your body. Smooth and, and just relax your shoulders. And also allow your thoughts to slow down as well. And just follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention to gently slow down your breathing a little bit more each time by taking in more time to breathe in and really take it easy as you breathe out. And when you're feeling yourself a bit more relaxed, then shift your focus into your heart, into your heart space. Imagine that you are in your heart, your attention is in your heart. All your attention is focused in your heart area. And imagine that you can actually breathe in to your heart. And as you breathe out, breathe out from your heart, anything that is taking you out of this moment, just let it all go. Simply allow yourself to be aligned with your heart and to be synchronized and coherent with your heart. All of you, all your other organs, all your attention being synchronized with your heart. Even your breathing, allow it to be synchronized with your heart. And as you focus on your heart, set the intention to let go of any thoughts that does not support your heart to be in this moment. And also remember to smile. 
your home. You are in your heart space now. Your home. Your home with your soul. Your home with all that is important. Allow yourself to leave a space for spirit to come in. For spirit to come in to give you messages of love and light. For spirit to come in. to share with you the love the Spirit has for you. When you can truly let go of all the noise in your head and you'll be able to tune into that which is innately you. Peace, peace and joy. Abundance. when you can allow yourself the freedom of all, from all of those thoughts that does not serve you in this moment. You clear a space for more of you, for more of the, the multi dimensional part of you to come in to connect with you. Feel them, feel all of those multidimensional parts of you that has always been a part of you. Even though you may not know that they actually exist beyond you, that they are a part of you. When you clear a space for them, they would be able to return and bring you gifts, gifts of insights, gifts of connection. gifts of knowing that you are more than just this body, that you are more so much more 
that nothing is really separated. Everything is within you. All that you have ever wanted or felt you needed. They are already there. It is just that your mind creates all these different thoughts. And these thoughts separates you. From all of your abundance, from all the things that naturally wants to come to support you. Thoughts are important. Thoughts can give you and allow you to experience and they can also separate you and pull you further away from that which you deserve. The difference between having and not having is but an idea away. So be mindful of your thoughts. Allow thoughts that support you, that inspires you. To come into your mind and to grow and to guide you. And thoughts that does not support you, thoughts that distress you, you don't need to allow them in. There is no obligation. to entertain thoughts that don't support you. Just because a thought comes into your mind, it does not mean that it is your thought. Allow the thoughts to come in and allow those thoughts that does not support you to leave as well without resisting. Just like wind. Allow the wind to flow in front of you and around you. When you don't try to struggle with the wind, when you simply be still 
and allow the wind to move around you. And the wind will not be able to slow you down. Thoughts are just like that. If a thought comes into your mind and you really enjoy it, then engage with it. Allow it. Invite more thoughts of the same variety. Ask the thoughts to come with friends, with family. Allow them to multiply. And if a thought comes in that does not support you in this moment, then all you have to do is simply allow it to leave. No need to tangle with those thoughts. No need to judge the thought. Simply a thought. And there are so many others. Each of them are slightly different. So only choose the ones that you like. Allow those in and grow more of those. true to yourself as you are able to simply be with your essence be the version of you that is most like your true self Go for truth. What is true for you in this moment? Move with yourself. You are like water. You are not a piece of rock. You are like water. Your true self is not something that is completely solid and cannot change. Your true self is ever changing. The more you want to say, stay the, the same, the more you are further away from your true self. Your true self is like water. It flows. It needs to flow. Because you're always growing 
always learning. And in order to learn and to grow, you have to flow. Flow with what is true in this moment. It is true in this moment. That does not mean it will be true all the time. The only thing that does not change is change itself. The others, all the others, change and flow. with who you are in this moment. And who you are in this moment is always changing. Especially when you get into higher densities higher dimensions. The more evolved you are, the more changes you need to go through. Your true self is not solid. It is malleable. true self seeks to change. It seeks to learn. It is adventurous. It is playful. It prefers to try new things. It seeks to learn more. It seeks to observe.
when you let go of who you think you are. You'll be able to step beyond the identity that you know, the identity that you feel comfortable to be with, that you have control over when you are able to step beyond that, be able to step beyond and be willing to not know, be willing to be not in control but to truly follow your soul's guide and be able to move from experience to experience, from ideas to totally different ideas and able to learn from adapting to all the different ideas. To be comfortable to let go of the little identity, the small I. when you become more attracted to knowing and discovering who you truly are by letting go of your preconceived ideas about what life, what kind of life that you think you want and start to embrace the life that your soul is calling you, is nudging you to go towards then you start to get a glimpse have some idea of who you truly are. Because who you truly are is not the name on your driver's license. It's not the name on your government IDs. Not the photos. Not the job title. Not the certificates, not your accomplishments. Who you are is a state, it's a relationship, it's a relationship with you, with the true self. Right now, the relationship is a little out of sync. You still like to hang on to the old identities 
of who you think you are, who you've been told you are, who you have studied so hard, worked so hard to become. We know it's not easy to let go of all that accomplishment. You are thinking of and you're more attached to what you're letting go of. You don't know what you're getting. Not yet. You're still in the letting go stage. And it's not easy to allow those limiting identities to start to fall off. It's not easy because you have worked so hard to get them. And what are you getting? What is the reward for letting go of these limited identities that you need to work hard for? You can get a glimpse of it when you tune into your heart. When you can feel the solidarity with your true self, the harmony that you feel with your environment when you are living as your true self, you're in harmony. with the rest of creation. There is no ceiling. There is no limit to how How much inspiration that you can get. From the totality of you. From being in harmony. With your environment. Not just your immediate environment but your environment as in the whole universe. You are not just in this body. You are part of your environment as well. That 
sense of expansion, that sense of flowing with all of creation. that satisfaction. That peace and joy that comes only from knowing that you are flowing with all of creation. Allowing for all of creation to flow through you and being able to tap into what you need to know in this moment and how you can move forward. What is the best way? You don't have to guess anymore. You are simply flowing from experience to experience. Moving from creation to creation. And synchronicities becomes normal. When you know that you're in exactly the right place at exactly the right moment, that feeling that is connection, that is being connected with your environment. You are moving seemingly without opposition and everything that stands in your way, you understand it's simply a delay and it serves a purpose purpose is to show you where you need to let go some more, to shift, to take in some new ideas, meet new people. Build new bridges. And once you have done those, once you have complied with what the universe 
is showing you that needed to be changed. And you will see the obstacles starting to melt away. It's a different way of living. It's more finesse. And less about setting goals and charging ahead and banging your head. unclosed doors. It's more like knowing that door is going to be closed. But that if you go around the building, there is a back door. when you're really good at it. You may start to find that the door may be locked, but you can actually find the key Or someone else with the key is going to show up. Or somebody within the building, which you have just met last night, recognize you and buzz you in. It's a different way to live. It's not the linear way to live. It's the multi-dimensional way to live. It's a way to live that is not just living from your point of view but that you have so many other inputs. And you know that each of your actions will have ripple effects. You will be able to understand that Some things may be best left alone. Not that you can't get it right now, but that if you get it at this moment, it may cause some complications, shall we say, further down the road. That's why it is best to go in a different way.
sometimes the longest route may be the best route. different way of living, to live in your heart. It does not mean that you don't use logic. It just means that after you have looked over all of the logical arguments, you still need to check in with your heart. You still need to check in with your soul. To see a few steps ahead. It may logically seem to be the best method to get what you want. But when you are able to see a few steps ahead, you may be able to notice that there, the best route logically may cause some difficulties. A few steps ahead. six months down the road or sometimes a few years down the road it's going to come back and cause more problems That is why they say it's a little different way to live. It's, it's the balance way where you use both your head, the logical methodical side of you and you check in to your heart, to your soul, who can see further and tap into more access more resource that your logical side have access to. And when you respect both, when you work with all of your talents, not just the ones that you are used to using. But you tap into the totality of your talents. The choice that you're going to make. Will serve you better.
checking in with your heart, listening to your soul. It takes practice. You may not be able to hear anything at first. Because you're used to hearing your thoughts. You're used to the logical side that speaks in a certain way. And you've been trained by that. And you're expecting that your soul is going to talk to you the same way. And your soul is completely unaware that that is how it's supposed to connect with you. Your soul has its own language, has its own way of communicating with you. Take the time. Take the time to set up that communication. Learn the alphabet of your soul so that you can communicate and be able to hear messages. Your soul is not used, it's not used to being hurt. It may speak very softly at first, but the more you take the time to learn the alphabets the signs, the way that your soul knows how to talk to you. When you start to learn that, you begin to feel a subtle difference and you start to be able to make more sense of that communication. The more you can let go of the training from your logical mind and be able to simply allow your soul teach you and train you to understand its alphabet, its way of communicating with you. The more your soul would be able to communicate with you, more complicated, complex ideas. But it all starts with your willingness to meet with your soul's communication on its own ground and not trying to force and expect your soul to communicate with you 
the way your mind and logic communicates with you. And be willing to get it wrong at first. It's okay. Some growing pains, or maybe It's more fun to get it wrong. Eventually, though, you will find the way. when you can balance both what your soul needs, what your soul wants, and also what your logical and human side wants. And you can balance those two. Life becomes more fun. Even simple things will take on the feeling of an adventure. There may be things that you have done before. But now that you are going to do it in a different perspective, in a more balanced perspective, the results will be different. Even though you may seem to be doing the same things, but the energy behind the doing is different. And that's why the results will be more satisfying. can accomplish more. And that is flow. That is the flow state. You are going with the environment. You're going with creation. You're going with the flow of energy. And that's why you can accomplish more. You can go further. It will become easier life. You finally 
really get to the point where you appreciate life. an adventure as a pleasant and maybe at times fun adventure as well. Patience, have patience with yourself when you're learning to use both the logic and the soul to balance both sides to balance the feminine with the masculine. No matter what your body's gender may be, it is the feminine and the masculine energies within you that have been so unbalanced before. When you can bring that back into balance, life can become balanced and enjoyable again. Look for that. Look for that sign. Look for the ways balance means something different for everyone. Not everyone's balance has to look exactly the same. Only you can tell. And when you can balance your own feminine and masculine energy, you will be able to do less but get more done. Feel that balance within yourself right now. Allow that balance allow that balance to guide you. serve you. Uh, 
that is our message for you this evening. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. To speak with you, to drop ideas, ideas that will be able to bring more balance in your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wonderful humans. <laughs>